Hello everyone, welcome to Void on the Unknown Gamer. This is my second attempt recording this. I thought about loading my save so I positioned where I was like uh, the last time I did this, but where I am is fine now. I have my blindfold on, so let's do this. I'm going to be showing you more than just a fight, I'm also going to be explaining you some variables about this fight in particular, and also um, um, how to proceed further past it. So, here, this guy on my right has a chance to actually hit Cloud if you dodge into him a certain way. Now, to be fair, I've only had this happen to me once, so it seems more like random chance than anything, but something to keep in mind. So, like, uh, before we're going to dodge forward to the started. left twice, nope. forward again, lock on, Try make absolutely harder. sure you're locked on. That it? Drop your, drop your block when you need to. Now, that was two. Now, I should warn you that there's a chance that you only end up hitting one of those guys. Um, if you only hit, end up hitting one, there's a chance you can still save Steady. it, but you'd have no to way. hope essentially that um. Not bad. You have to hope, essentially, that, uh... Uh, you hit the other two with the single Braver after that. Otherwise, if you hear yourself only hit one, just reload the battle. It starts you literally right at the gate. You can just hold forward. So from here, I gotta make sure I'm in the corner, actually. I should be in the corner. So... From the exact spot Cloud is in, you want to take 12 steps to the left. Now, mind you, it, if you don't catch the railing, because there's a little, like, uh, protruding part of the wall that Cloud can get caught on when you're going up the stairs. So, it, otherwise, it would be 12 step forward, but if you count past 12 and you realize, oh, I'm not at the thing, just keep holding forward to hit the tutorial trigger. So, I'm going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There, there we go. The, I know you heard me only count to eleven, but the second I paused this, the twelfth step. Now from here, uh, you want to take three steps forward, three steps to the left or right, I mean, and then you want to walk forward and kind of finagle yourself in a way to make sure you are walking into the corner of the chest. Then you want to shimmy your way to the left, like, four times, and shimmy forward some. And that's how you get the chest from here. Hello, hi, yes, it is me, Editing Unknown. I would like to quickly interject to interrupt whatever this buffoon is talking about right now, as the strategy I came up with initially was, um... What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, oh yes, uh, stupid. So I, while I was trying to figure out whatever this is you're seeing on the screen currently, uh, I found a much better, more consistent and efficient strategy to get you through this part of the game blindfolded. Now, at some point in the future, I may show a clip of this strategy that I was using as my idiot self runs into the wall. But, uh, I, I do not know. We will see. Uh, until then, I will throw you back to the present with the much more efficient strategy I came up with after the fact. Uh, yeah, that, that is just about it. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, funnily enough, while I was, like, trying to figure out the exact amount of steps you need for the last try I was talking about, I found a better one. So ignore everything I just said. Instead, what you would like to do is take, from where you are now, take three steps to the left. One, two, three. I think I might have walked a bit more towards the stairs than I would have liked, but hopefully I didn't. And from here, you would like to walk forward, and you would probably have to hold diagonal some. So, or diagonally forward some. So from here, I do not know the exact amount of steps, but... If you just hold forward, you should be fine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Now, you hear those traffic cones I just hit? That is a good indicator. And the fact that I can hear outside, too. So, if I just hold forward again, 
that's the tutorial so it's around i would say i lost count but i'd say 10 to 14 steps you'll know you've gotten where you need to be when you've ran past those uh traffic cones and my last the last um kind of what's it called strat uh that i came up with if you messed up the positioning you is very like you would run into those track traffic cones and the way you'd save yourself is just by holding uh forward and then left to get to the next cutscene trigger so from where i am i'll just take a few more steps forward then i'll just hold left until i hit the cutscene trigger <clears throat> there you go and that's how you do that part of the game blindfolded Real um look at too. And for where Cloud is, I'm guessing all you have to do is just, because Barrett's over there, you have to walk towards Barrett, and then, um, and then, uh, continue on, right? But yeah, that's how you do that, uh, part of the game, blindfolded from the fight, and then pro progressing forward. And, uh, I'll admit, that did take me a bit longer than I would have liked, admittedly, in terms of figuring out, like, uh, the amount like, of steps you need. Like, uh, the angle you actually want to hold your, uh, joystick in and all that. But, it is fairly consistent from my testing and all that. The last uh, strategy I came up with, not so much. Because I will admit, it did take me a bit to figure out, like, uh, just how precise that other trick was and how needless it was. And then I experimented with the trick you saw me using there. And yeah, it... For the most part, very consistent. There's the good thing uh, about uh, this room specifically, right? Is there's a lot of things that make like a lot of noise. So if you know the area you're in, I would have routed getting this chest, but there's just some grenades in it. And they're not all too helpful. Um, yeah. So for example, if you're if you're standing here, right? You took the three steps and you ended up like walking to the right. You would know because you would hit these things. So I recommend just try like holding to the left some until you break free of it while also trying to hold as much to the right as possible. So that way, once you're free, you can just run into these things and you know you're going in the right direction. So yeah, the good thing about this room is there's a lot of things that make noise and will tell you or at least give you an idea of where you are. And yeah. That's the, the, that is, uh, the strategies I came up with on how to do them properly, so to speak. Uh, I will be showing a montage of clips of things I discovered and things that can go wrong while you're doing this. Uh, I might also throw in that other clip I made of me, like, um, if I still have it. Of me, like, uh, the alternative method I was getting ready to use. Where you hold here until you hit these things, I'll let you know that, um, that you're facing this direction then you would have like angled yourself that way and all that stuff but yeah i'll send you over there and then um i'll add my commentary explain my thought process on them let's do this you're coming with us can't get surrounded that's new nope, nope. blindfold's coming off because i i've never gotten hit by that guy this one's I am back again, and here is, if I recall correctly, the first ever time I performed uh, this, like a uh, sequence, blindfolded, like in a single sitting. So here is, this is when I realized you can actually just kill only one of the Shinra troopers instead of two. Like I, I, I had assumed that you were almost guaranteed to kill two Shinra soldiers first, then you would. Uh, fire the last one or you you would use a uh, magic to kill the last one but i was uh the game had other plans so here i was just waiting to get my atb back to try and salvage the situation um i used braver because i didn't know what else to do and i killed both of them i was like okay so here i uh i was thinking i decided to run myself back into the corner right and from here everything kind of uh, to an extent went off without a hitch the way I planned it to as you can see I got caught in that lip that I mentioned before in the video yeah here um, uh, is the first time once again if I recall correctly is the first time I performed that glitch not glitch sorry that route I made um, 
from here, I just uh, go over to the chest and yeah, just such a uh, try and figure out how exactly to do it because this was my first time doing it. And yeah, the next tip will be me doing it with my mic on because I did not have it on for this attempt. And uh, I, if I recall correctly, it does have some of my commentary on it. So yeah, here it is. Okay. Again. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. I didn't even hear the grenade. Nope. <laughs> Try harder. Steady. Whatever. Those two. So it seems like a toss up. Sometimes you get two, sometimes you do not. Steady. Fair enough. And with that, that is everything I found and um, everything I've done so far when it, in terms of routing this. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this has been a very interesting experience for me. Um, I've always, I have always wanted to do something akin to a challenge run of this magnitude before. I've thought about doing this in other games, like something that I wanted to do for a very long time was a uh, level one run for a few of the games that I really like playing. Uh, but this one is so far has been the one I've been the most consistent with and the men uh, and ugh, the one I've been the most passionate about. So I will definitely continue updating you on my progress and hopefully one day, who knows, maybe I will be the one who also does it but one day solo will be uh final fantasy 7 remake blindfolded and hopefully that day comes soon um i'm not really sure how to handle the next episode per se but i'll figure that out in the meantime um i guess you guys enjoy this little video i made in terms of like uh practicing your own blindfolded run of ff7 remake if you are doing it and yeah, with that, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to always stay anonymous.